Okay, hi, this is Jack Scalisi, Director of Creative Production at 2K, and you're watching Atomics. Well, Playboy uh, started in the 1950s, and it really, you know, it exemplified what a mobster desires to achieve. It's money, women, uh, fancy cars, cigars, the good life. So in our game, our guys are trying to achieve the good life, and Playboy is a great example of that. And so that's why we have uh, 50 centerfolds and covers in the game as collectible items. Over 120. Really? Yeah. yeah. We license, it's all licensed music from the period. We have everything from like Dean Martin and Tony Bennett to uh, guys like Little Richard, Chuck Berry, Buddy Holly. So you have everything from, actually we have some music for the 1930s um, all the way into the 1950s. The biggest inspiration for Mafia 2 game-wise was probably Mafia 1. Um, but we needed to modernize the, uh, the gameplay. Mafia 1 is a great game. It came out uh, in 2002, and everyone loved it, as, as you probably remember. Um, but since then, a lot of games have come out that have really revolutionized gameplay. Uh, of course, GTA being one of them. And we're all huge GTA fans. Um, but we don't want to be like other games. We want it to be unique, create a unique experience. So whereas they might have a gigantic sandbox, open world, you could do anything, with our game, it's story driven. You're the character, you're in the mafia, you're a wise guy. You have to behave like a wise guy. You can't just go out and run around and, you know, do whatever you want because a wise guy wouldn't do that. He wouldn't take a gun and start shooting up the city, things like that. So, where we modernized things, we're, we pretty much we kept the story focused uh, gameplay. In other words, our, our entire game is focused on the story of Vito and Joe and the rise through the Mafia. So we kept that from Mafia 1, but where we really modernized everything was with the gameplay, especially the cover-based shooting system. If you've noticed when you played, it doesn't feel like a, a sandbox game as far as shooters go. It feels like a, a third-person action shooter. Well, the police in Mafia 1, if you remember, there was very polarizing. People loved it or they didn't like it. So, for me, I thought the first time I got a ticket in the game, I was like, oh, this is great. And it's the first time I got a traffic ticket in a, in a game, driving. Then after that, every time I was like, oh, man, wish I had more options. So, with Mafia 2, we have more options now. So, you can run away from the cops. You don't have to stop. You know, they'll start chasing you. You can drive away. And then, if they catch you, they'll give you a ticket. Depends on what the offense is for. If it's driving, you know, too fast, or if it's going through a red light, yeah, you get a traffic ticket. Or you can choose to resist. You can say, like, nope, I'm not paying, and then they'll chase you. Um, if you run over a pedestrian, they'll, you know, it's a much more serious crime. All the cars in the game, uh, we have 50 cars in the game and they're all based on real cars from the 1940s and 1950s, all the way down to the physics and the way they handle and everything like that. And uh, the Czech guys got really geeky with it. it. You know, everything is exact to the 1940s, 1950s cars, which weren't the easiest cars to handle. So we have what we call normal driving mode, which is more of an arcade style driving mode. It's a little more forgiving, but for people who want the extra challenge, we offer simulation mode, which is accurate to the cars of the day. So Empire Bay is the city in the game, and um, you'll start off in 1945 Empire Bay. Um, it's 10 square miles, and um, you'll see pre-war architecture. You know, we have pre-war and post-war buildings in the game. So 1945, when the game starts, it's still World War II. We didn't have all this new architecture that we got in the 1950s. So the buildings will be different, the fashions will be different, especially the ladies' fashions. Men's fashions tend to stay the same through the ages. But the women are, you know, every era, the women, you know, dress differently. Um, the music is extremely, you'll hear cars driving by, you'll hear them playing music, you'll hear swing and jazz music in the 1940s. We also chose to set the 1940s uh, Empire Bay in the snow, in the wintertime, because we want it to be, feel very unique and very different than the 50s. The 50s takes place mostly during the summertime, 
So it's kind of depressing. All you have is World War II on the radio. TV doesn't exist yet. There's no rock and roll. There's no cool cars. So that's the 1940s. When you get to the 50s, it feels like a completely different city, as you saw in the demos today. Okay, well, in Mafia 2, you play uh, a young man named Vito Scaletta. He's uh, a Sicilian immigrant, but he grew up in America. Uh, and uh, he's sent off to fight the war, World War II. And when he gets back, he realizes, well, his father has died, first of all, while he was away at the war. And he le had left the family burdened with a big debt. Like, he owed a lot of money. And uh, this is 1945, so Vito's mother and his sister are going to get high-paying office jobs, you know, to be able to pay this debt back. So he gets back, he has no money and no job, and his family owes a lot of money. So while he was away at the war, his best friend Joe, who, wasn't, who didn't go to the war, said, hey, you know, I'm working for the mob. Why don't you, you know, come, come with me? I'll get you a job. And it turns out that he starts working for the mob and he makes a lot of money. And he and Joe, they rise to the ranks of the mafia. And then they realize that, you know, it's not as glamorous as they thought it would be. And when it comes time to leave, you can't, there's no getting out of the mafia. Some stuff you can do in Mafia 2 is uh, you can buy different clothing for your character. It's all appropriate too, you're not going to wear a big purple pimp hat or anything like that. You can wear you know, nice suits and nice casual clothing. Um, you can steal any one of the 50 cars in the game and you can keep up to 10 of them in your garage. You can customize them, you can paint them any color you want, change the license plate, change the wheels. There's over 100 interior locations in the city you can go explore, um, all fully detailed. You can uh, have a hamburger at a diner, you can go to the bar, have a beer, talk to people. So the city really feels alive and you can really take part in the life. The game is running on the Illusion engine. This is an engine developed um, by our internal studio, 2K Check. So Illusion became 2K Check, and their, their game engine, which this is what powers what's on the screen behind me, is just fantastic. It's, you know, that's, yeah. And uh, it, lets, it lets us do the driving, the shooting, the melee combat, all without loading, and it looks fantastic while it's doing it. And the interiors look very deep. Check out Mafia 2. There's nothing else out there like it. The working man's a sucker, that's for damn sure. You said it. Oh, yeah!